Da 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 wop wop wop. Champers of fucking item. Space. What the fuck is this guy doing? See, this is what I'm saying. <laughs> what the fuck was that? Oh man! This is how they roll! <laughs> Fuck! Okay, stop. Hold it right there. Hold it right there. I know exactly what you're going to say. I know exactly what you're thinking. Yes, you there. You there watching. I know what you're going to say. It's Modern Warfare 2. The game's older than a year. Older than two years. In Call of Duty terms, that is dinosaur shit. Nobody cares anymore. Nobody cares about Modern Warfare 2. It's old, dead, buried. What I'm going to say to that is, no, hang on a moment. This game is still £19.99. £19.99, less a penny off £20 in the Xbox Live Marketplace. And if the developers want to charge you, if Activision are still willing to charge you £20, less a penny, to the sound of £19.99, you should not be experiencing this. You just shouldn't, you know? And it's everywhere. It's rife in Modern Warfare 2. Now, that surprises me because modders, hackers, whatever you want to call them, they were very thin on the ground in Modern Warfare 2 on the Xbox 360. Just, just not anywhere, you know? I've played this on the PS3 and unfortunately it was rife on the PS3. Now it's probably even more so on the Xbox 360. You cannot drop in a single lobby of free for all or team deathmatch without somebody who's got aimbot on fair mode headshot multiplier times 900% or whatever, you know, it's, there's just no chance, it's unplayable. Modern Warfare 2 is now physically unplayable, and the thing that frustrated me about this one was that I was winning the bloody free-for-all match, and the geezer that turns on his mods went from, I think it was 7 for 8 to, uh, to 26 for whatever it was. Unfair sniping modding bastard. Hacking sniping modding twat. I might not call it twat, I don't know if I'll get away with that, but basically those were the words I screamed out while I was playing this. I had my headset on, I screamed out those very words and unfortunately for me my next door neighbour who was cutting her lawns heard me shout those words and found it very amusing. Now onto this gameplay now, I'm using the Model 1887's best guns in Call of Duty, oh no they were, sorry they were the best guns in Call of Duty, they've now replicated them apparently in Infinite Warfare, I don't know, I've only seen a little bit of footage here and there. It's not the Model 1887s by any stretch of the imagination, but I think they wanted to give people a taste of what the Model 1887 Akimbos were. These guns were the best guns in Call of Duty. They were slightly overpowered, so they went in for a little bit of a sex change and came out with a pig's vagina. They just totally got dressed down and they were almost pointless, as they still are pointless in this game of complete and utter overpoweredness. But they're still so much fun. So there's the gameplay footage in the background. So enjoy that if you're a Model 1887 fan. Now, on to the burning question. Should they go back and fix these games? Because it does... Listen, let, let, me, let me put it like this. How old is CSGO? I mean, how old is it? I don't know. I don't really play CSGO much. It's an old game. It's nothing amazing to look at. You know, I'm not slating CSGO. I quite like it. I, I enjoy playing it. I'm not that good at it, but I like it. But visually and, you know, from a content point of view, it's still the same game pretty much as it has been for most of the time that I've known it, and it probably will be for further on into the distant future. Yet the player base is still so hardcore, they still love that game. It still gets patched, monitored, cleaned up. They get little extras added. There's plenty of skins being put in that people can still acquire. You know, an absolute abundance of people who are just hardcore CSGO lovers and will be till the dying end. That is how you keep people's interest. You go back, you clean things up. Oh, there's a little bit of a problem there. Let's clean it up. Let's make it better. And the community stay exactly the same and they stay just as strong with their love towards that game. With Call of Duty, with Activision, I'm aware that every year there's a new one come out and it is almost like the older ones are just pushed to the back of the pods. Like, forget that, we don't need that anymore. Let it, we're concentrating on the new, the here, the now, the this, the that. 
Forget the old game, it's shit. People don't bother, people don't play. Wrong. Modern Warfare 2 still has a massive player base. I don't ever search, you know, I get into a game of Modern Warfare 2 quicker than I do on Infinite Warfare, quicker than I do on Black Ops 3. But I would imagine ever since all this has started becoming so cancerous that people now will start to move away and say, yeah, I think I'm done with that, you know, I'll, I'll, forget that, forget that. I don't, I don't want to get aimbotted through a wall. I don't want a guy to stab me when he's 25 feet away from me and he can see me through a floor. So they're going to move away and then that sort of promotes Activision to, oh, let's just concentrate on the next thing, the new thing, the World War II, World War I, Vietnam War, whatever the things are going to be in the future. Pisses me off, man, and pisses a lot of people off as well, but pisses me off more than anything. And you don't want to piss me off because I'm, I'm solid. I lift. Do I even lift? I lift. I'm hench. I've got gains going on. I'm only kidding. <laughs> I ain't got no gains. Let's put it this way. I know this is a little bit extreme, but I like to use these little analogies to make people think. Ooh, get them thinking. Oh yeah, I see what you're saying there. Let's imagine I, I've... Uh, right, okay. I've had a child, okay? My little daughter. Love her to bits. She's um, she's eight years old now. She's coming up to nine years old. Love her. She's the apple of my eye. But let's just pretend that, you know, I've had another child. I've just had another one now. And all of a sudden I focus all my energies on this child and I don't bother with the other one. And she gets nits and she gets pleurisy and she starts rotting and falling to pieces and she gets yeast infections and she's starving and she's wilting away and dying. And people are like, oh God, you know, I still like your daughter, but she's, she's fucking falling to bits. She's falling to bits. Look at her state of her. Look at her hair. It's knotted. She's ruined. She's dying. She's dying inside, brother. What are you doing? Well, I'm concentrating on this one now. I've got this new one-year-old. This is where all the concentration is. This is where I'm going to put all my money. I'm going to put her through schooling and everything. What's that, dear? You're pregnant? Oh, you're pregnant? Oh, well, okay. Get that one-year-old and fuck her off over there. I don't need her. I'm going to concentrate on this new baby now. Call of Duty is Activision's baby. Take care of your babies. You fucking idiots. Thanks for watching, guys. Much love. Apocalypse done.